Hey, good morning and welcome back. We're studying the book of Philippians in our morning devotional time. This morning we're at Philippians chapter 2, verse 8. Let's read it and then we'll think about it together. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. A simple statement, very simple, but very profound. And again, this is part of the larger piece we've been working on the last few mornings. Let's think about that for a minute. Being found in appearance as a man, Jesus humbled himself. We have this idea out there that Jesus was some kind of cosmic superman. He kind of came and kind of floated through life and did everything easy because, hey, after all, he's God and we're not. But I want you to notice that he was in appearance as a man, not only in appearance, in the likeness, in the nature of God, the morphe of God. Now he's in the morphe of man, the shape of man. So he really was in his deity, and now he's in humanity. What kind of humanity is it? Well, think about the purpose of the, of the incarnation. Jesus, as God, cannot die. He has to take a human body that's capable of dying. What kind of a human body is capable of dying? Well, the kind of body that's a fallen body. I mean, Adam and Eve, if they had eaten from the tree of life, they could have kept on living indefinitely, but they didn't do that. They sinned, and now Adam was able, and he began to die, and Eve also. For God to make atonement, for his sacrifice to be offered, for life to be given, you have to be able to die. So Jesus came and took a humanity, a, a humanity not like Adam before he fell, but a humanity like you and I, a, a humanity that's able to die, right? Go to the book of Hebrews and read it in chapter 2. And so that must be the humanity that Jesus has. And being found in appearance as a man, this is telling us that Jesus, he's not like half like Adam and half like you and I. Jesus is entirely, his humanity is very much akin to your humanity and mine. It's a fallen humanity. It's a humanity that can get mosquito bites. It's a humanity that can sweat. It's a humanity that can be beaten and that can bleed. It's a humanity that can could receive a virus, okay? It's, it's, it's our plain Jane kind of every which day humanity. That's the kind of humanity Jesus took because that's the kind of humanity that needs redeeming. So Jesus did that. And so he's found in appearance as a man. He humbles himself and becomes obedient to the point of death. So again, he's going to go all the way to the cross. He's going to die on the cross for us. And that is a humanity. It has to be kind of a humanity that can die. So we know he had our humanity. That's like an automatic Peace. Unless you're filled with the dogma of original sin, which is not a Bible teaching, where you feel like humans are naturally guilty, every breath we take we're guilty of, then Jesus couldn't have our humanity, right? But we know that he had a humanity that can die, and that's a humanity that's sin-damaged, sin-impacted, sin-affected anyway, humanity, although Jesus never sinned. So Jesus comes, and he comes all the way down. I mean, the ladder from heaven that God lit down, it didn't just stop, you know, dangling, you know, 40 feet above the earth, all the way from heaven on down, but, but now Jesus didn't bridge the gap completely. The Bible tells us, and this is one of the places in the Bible that tells us, God the Father bridged the gap completely with our Lord and Savior Jesus. So he comes, and he comes obedient even to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Now, the death on the cross is a death of humiliation. To be crucified was the most humiliating thing that, that you could experience. It was one of the most torturous ways to die. And of course, it also signified that God, the curse of God is upon you because we find back in the Torah, in the first five books of the Bible, that this meant you were cursed of God. So Jesus was cursed of God, not because of his sin, because he had no sin. Jesus was cursed of God for your sin and mine and that's this death, even the death of the cross. Jesus tasted, the book of Hebrews tells us, Jesus tasted the second death for you and I so that we could taste eternal life and have the gift of eternal life through him. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus. Jesus who came all the way down, took a humanity like ours, a humanity that could die, was victorious in it, never sinned in it, ever, not a moment of sin in it, always overcame the same way that I can overcome through the Holy Spirit, the same way that every viewer can overcome. And Jesus died that death, taking our sins. Thank you for Jesus, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, Jesus, look what he did for you and I. May we praise him today with every piece of our life today. God be with you.